Hey everybody, Andrew Fantasia here, and welcome to Digital Charcuterie. I was talking to Mr. James Rizile about Super Mario games and which ones we like and so on and so forth. And because of the new Super Mario Brothers movie, I got in the mood to replay Mario Odyssey, which I haven't played since 2017 when I first got my Nintendo Switch. Going back to Mario Odyssey, man, it really opened my eyes to just what a great game Odyssey is. I don't know when the last time was that you guys have had a chance to play it, but I think it might be the perfect 3D Mario game, maybe, question mark? It's just, there's something about it and it's difficult to quantify and believe me, I have tried, but I'm gonna do my best here. Um, it's a mixture of a lot of things, really. It's a mixture of a wide variety of levels. First of all, that's what Mario is always good at, right? You can't have a Mario game without a big variety of different levels to explore. And Odyssey has that. But it also has something that I think has been missing from 3D platforming video games for a long time, which is something near and dear to my heart. And that is, it's a collect-a-thon at the end of the day, right? It's just a game where you are running around collecting things, mostly moons, because there are a ton of moons, but also you want to collect all the purple coins on every level. You want to collect all of the outfits that you can unlock. And by collecting all those aforementioned purple coins, you can unlock more outfits to buy in every level. And you can get decals and little things and trinkets that you can add to your Odyssey to personalize it like souvenirs because that's what Mario Odyssey is all about. He's on a vacation kind of, except, you know, there's danger involved. Plus, the whole thing with Bowser trying to marry Peach and ending with this giant wedding where they're in tuxedos and they're fighting and everything. There's something so epic about that as a finale. It's so different from the usual go to Bowser's castle, he's surrounded by lava and throw him in the lava. It's so much more personal and different that the first time I played it, I remember thinking to myself, this storyline with Bowser trying to have the wedding with Peach and you going to crash the wedding and the wedding's in this giant cathedral on the moon, this feels like it would be the final chapter of the Mario story, if that makes any sense at all. It feels like the end of the Super Mario story, the final climax of it all. I can't think of any way in the future to have Mario and Bowser go head to head again and have it feel or look more epic than Odyssey's finale felt and looked. Add on top of that, the whole ending where you use the cap to possess Bowser and get like, <laughs> there's so much going on in Mario Odyssey uh, and so much to love. I think personally, I want more collect-a-thons like this. I want them to double down on that. I love how many moons there are, but it made me feel like in the olden days when you're playing a Banjo-Kazooie game or a, a Donkey Kong 64, which man, those games, I love them to death. Um, just the idea of having so much to do and to find and going back to revisit worlds you've previously explored to unlock new things and all of those different worlds and levels. That's, for me, that's like crack. That's what I love about gaming in that genre anyway, in the platforming genre. So if anything comes out of Mario Odyssey existing, I hope games take a page out of its book and maybe make collectathons a bit more common like they used to be. We have received a word, zero word on a sequel. Not even a sequel, but just another, the next big Mario game. We don't know anything about what this is going to be. So my wish list is this. It's gonna be hard to top Odyssey, because like I said, I think it might be the perfect Mario game with all those elements combined. But if I had to process and say, what's my perfect Mario game look like that'll top Odyssey, I would want, I'd want it to be a big collectathon again, even bigger than Odyssey. I want to expand, Odyssey's levels are kind of small at the end of the day, even though they're beautiful and there's a lot of them. I want to expand the, the size of everything and the amount of stuff there is to find. But, and this is going to be an unpopular opinion, I want to double down on the whole Donkey Kong 64 motif, if I may, where let's bring back the idea of being able to play as Luigi and Peach and maybe somebody else, I don't know, Toad. Toad would be fine. I'd be okay with Toad. 
uh, bring that back and imagine that every level has a bunch of collectibles and only some of them can be picked up by Mario but others have to be accessed with Peach or with Luigi. That's the kind of world that I want to live in. And I think if I have to add one more thing to that wish list, let's put Wario and Waluigi in a Mario game that's actually a Mario game and not just like a go-karting game or a party game. You know what I mean? Get them involved in the mythos. Get them running around hopping on, on blocks and stuff. I want to know what those guys do when they're not playing tennis is essentially what I'm getting at here. So that's my thoughts anyway. Mario Odyssey is a pretty damn perfect game. Close enough to it anyway. But the little wiggle rooms for improvement would involve collecting more stuff and having more characters to collect more stuff with. Maybe a mixture, some kind of hybrid between Odyssey and 3D World. That might end up being my perfect Mario game. But what do you think? What's your perfect Mario game? What would you want to see in the next one whenever or wherever it happens? And uh, keep talking about Mario because we tend to forget since they only put out like one game per decade now. But Mario is the quintessential video game so we can never forget our roots. But that's all here at Digital Charcuterie. Thanks so much for listening. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, be sure to ring the bell. Be sure to tell me what an amazing singing voice I probably have because I don't really know if my singing voice is any good. And I'll see you all next time. Until then, may you be the masters of your own destiny.